Hey Besties! This week I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to make paper bunting. Mr. and Mrs. Dino Slippers. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to make something with them today. So I'm going to do a pastel rainbow and I'll show you guys the different techniques that you can use. So for version number one, take your square of paper, fold it in half corner to corner, then to make a nicer shape, cut the sides off. You can measure it if you like, but it's fairly easy to eyeball. And there you have a nice shape for bunting. The string that I'm using to hold them up today is just some regular old embroidery thread. But you can use yarn or string or whatever you want. <laughs> so for this method, to attach them to the string, all you do is slide it in. Because it's folded in half, the string sits along the crease. The method that I use for this one is really simple as well. I'm going to do all of these methods so that they're basically the same size, but some of them you have a bigger area to work with so you can make better use of the amount of paper that you have. For the staple method, fold in half, corner to corner, cut off so that you've just got the folded over part. Again, shape it into the traditional bunting shape. string through, add a staple to the middle. You can see all the little staples up here if you look really closely. <laughs> this method is really good if you want the triangles to stay in place on the string rather than slide around everywhere. The next one involves a little bit of glue. Snip into the bunting shape. Then from another piece of paper, just cut a little piece for the back. Fold the back piece in half so it forms like a little tunnel and then glue the back piece down. So it'll form a little tunnel that you can then thread your string through. This way is probably the most complicated but it's really good if you don't have very much of the pretty paper that you're using because you can make the back piece out of just plain regular boring white paper. Now you just have to make a heap more of them so you can string them together. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this craft tutorial and it answers all of your questions. Let me know if you have any other questions and I will see you guys next week. Bye! If you like this video then chances are you'll like my others too. Subscribe to my channel then check out my blog at violetlabo.com. There's even a super cute puppy. <laughs> anyway, maybe on my... <laughs>